Hi, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Gabby. I am an illustrator, graphic novelist, printmaker, sketchbook enthusiast. A lot of people seemed really interested in my sketchbook video, the other one from 2023. So if you watch that and you're here, thanks so much. If you're looking for more sketchbook content, please check that video out. But yeah, I thought it would be fun to show another one of my sketchbooks from 2023. I actually started this sketchbook in 2019 and then I dropped it for <laughs> like three years. I had only done like 10 pages and then I came back. I just hate an empty sketchbook, so I wanted to come through and finish it. I'm really proud of this sketchbook because I feel like this is where I really started to push my sketch, start making some of those spreads that really got me going and got the ball rolling on what I do now. So yeah, let's get into it. This sticker is from my friend Laurel. This I think I got from a perfume company. So I have, <laughs> I have really bad first page anxiety, so I tend to do something like really silly or goofy on the first page. I also love to collect my fruit stickers and anything else, you know, fortune cookie fortunes. And yeah. So I was actually still in art school when I started this sketchbook. And clearly RDR2 had just come out. But it's kind of funny because this was my last year in art school. So this is what I was taking senior semester. I was taking comics and senior portfolio. And I was also taking, this was like a history course on superhero comics and culture, which was actually pretty interesting. This was the sketchbook thumbnails for my comic called The Monster Match. Uh, it was about a cyclops trying to use dating apps But I feel like you can really see that I thought about my sketchbooks a lot differently in this time period. I wasn't filling pages the way I do now, and I wasn't I wasn't pushing it. I I really enjoy the way that I work in my sketchbook now. These pages are definitely a lot more blank. <laughs> I don't think these are actually from 2019. I think I came back and was trying to fill some of these empty pages I had left. It's a drawing of my little sister. Oh, this is when I I went to Florida with my partner and we went to stay with his family. And so this is um, one of his little sisters, or my little sister now, because we're married. Um, this was her gymnastics studio and they had this really cool like observational sitting room. So I kind of just got to draw the whole place, which was really neat. Palm trees, because we were in Florida. This was, okay, I think this is when I picked it back up. Oh, see, I picked it up in October 2022, and then I think I dropped it immediately again. And then I picked it up again in 2023. So it's a weird timeline. But this one, I feel so nostalgic about this piece because I feel like this is the first page where I was like, let's just start page and not put it down until there's literally nothing else I can think of to do. And I, I just love this one. I love Cleo floating in the middle of the spread and the trees. Yeah, good times. Oh, in this sketchbook, you're going to see a lot of shiny, foily paper cut into shapes. I, I think it's all from this dark chocolate bar that we bought. And I'm like a raccoon, so if anything's shiny, I like I want to save the paper and I want to use it. So. I think this was a day out at the Cleveland Museum of Art. See, there's more of that paper. This page, I don't often use colored pencil, but I really liked this this ombre thing I did here. Maybe I should come back to this at some point.
just like a really haunted horse. <laughs> This actually became a print that I sell in my store. It's one of my best sellers, but it's kind of based on that episode of The Last of Us with Bill and Frank and also the Linda Ronstadt song. I use a lot of different art supplies in this sketchbook. So if you're interested in seeing a collection of some of my favorite art supplies or my thoughts on different materials, you know, let me know in the comments. I would love to, I love talking about art supplies, so. <laughs> I think here I told myself, I don't know how many times I've done this, I was gonna start the 100 heads challenge. So these were my four heads and I think they were all I did. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the quote from that same episode of The Last of Us. It really, I cried so hard at that episode. If you haven't seen it, warning, cause you're gonna cry, but. <laughs> and then this actually became another print that I sell in my store. It kind of was the start of my whole moss obsession. This is right when Tears of the Kingdom came out and my drawing tablet died. So I wasn't able to make like any of my fan art on my tablet, which is where I would normally do it. So I have so many pages of Tears of the Kingdom art. I think this ended up becoming a digital drawing at some point. Oh, and this one definitely ended up being a digital drawing. This was a, a print that I sold. I don't think I have any prints of this left in my store, but I do have some stickers. Yeah, I was obsessed. I still, and the craziest thing is I still haven't even beaten Tears of the Kingdom. I feel like I'm just not ready to for it to be over, so I just keep wasting time. Yeah, I mean, like, this is kind of more sneaky, but more Tears of the Kingdom. I love this color marker. I think I lost this one, but this is just like a Crayola marker. But it's like this baby food green that I was really obsessed with. Oh my god, I can't turn pages. And yeah, I think that this is the last page. I think everything else is just like, yeah, notes and work stuff, but that's gonna be it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed another peek in my sketchbook. These are really fun to make. I, I just remember feeling really proud of this sketchbook. Like I, I pushed myself. Before this, I was not a regular sketchbooker, but I, I just gave myself permission to have fun and not worry so much. I mean, like there are some pages in here that are not the best, but I, I really encourage myself just to have fun and like let go. So yeah, I, I was proud of myself for that. But you know, this is from a, I think it's like a boutique thrift store in Richmond. And then I guess this is a brand of, I think it's a brand of water bottles and I got a free sticker. And then this is a vintage Patchy Sour Kids sticker that I, I think I made it when I was like a sophomore in art school. And I think I must have just given away the last one because I don't think, I don't think there's any more of these, but it's a little moth with a little like Valentine's Day thing. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'm Patchy Sour Kids on Instagram and TikTok. And if you liked any of those little prints I was showing, they're available in my store. Let me know if you liked this video or you want to see videos like this. Liking, commenting, subscribing, all the, all the things. <laughs> but yeah, thanks so much. Have a great day.